Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. Let's solve this problem, the two sneaky numbers of digit will lay. So in this problem, right, first we will see the brute force approach. Then we will try to solve the problem without using any extra space. So please watch the video till the end for better understanding. Now let's understand the question. In a town of digit valley, there was a list of numbers called nums containing integers from 0 to n minus 1. 0 to n minus 1. Each number was supposed to appear exactly once in the list. Each number should appear exactly once. However, two mischievous numbers sneaked in in an additional time making the list longer than usual. So what happened? Every number 0 to n minus 1, every number should appear once. But two mischievous numbers have entered into the list and make, make the list and it increase the list size. As the town detective, your task is to find these two sneaky numbers. Return an array of size 2 containing two numbers so P can return to digit value. As a detective, we need to find the two numbers here. So he is saying that 0 to n minus 1, all, all elements from 0 to n minus 1 will occur once except two numbers. Except two numbers. So what you can use? You can directly use map and you can use count int comma int int comma int and you can directly do m of uh, value plus plus and after getting it you will iterate map and you will see whether i dot second equals to 2 then you will push into the answer and you will finally return it that's how the brute force approach will work it's simple right so get snake we will use map we will increment the counter then we have answer if i dot second equals to 2 then answer dot push back i dot first and finally we will return the answer now now interviewer will ask like this problem is an easy problem if he is saying that you can use the extra space but now if interviewer will uh, will try to ask you like he will follow up question can be solve this problem without using extra space so now this problem is categorized as medium problem now it's not an easy problem medium problem so try to solve so uh, try to solve this problem for at least 20 minutes before watching the next part of the video without using extra space solve it you can solve this one hint is you can solve this using bit operations so try to solve it so i am hoping that you have tried this now let's see the other other solution now consider to this example v1 as 1 2 3 1 2 and v2 1 2 3 consider this this is my this is my vector like which the with my get sneaky numbers method will get this values 1 2 3 1 2 but my actual numbers are 1 2 3 so we are avoiding 0 as of now for for just for an example v2 this is 1 2 3 now you know xor properties right a xor a if both numbers are same my xor will be 0 now if you observe if xor v1 xor v2 if you observe v1 xor v2 all my elements 1 1 will get cancelled 2 2 will get cancelled 3 3 will get cancelled only 1 xor 2 is left so my 1 xor 2 is 3 now if you observe this is my 1 0 1 and 1 0 is my 2 and this is 1 1 is my 3 now we got this so if you are getting the result that means any of the bit now this is 0 1 and this is 1 0 at this at this position my two bits are separating two bits are separating so what i will do is my one number is present in this group in this group my other number is present in this group so i will try to segregate into two groups based on this parity bit based on this parity bit so so based on this parity bit i will separate in group one in group one what i will do i will say that it uh, zeroth index it's it like zeroth index my value should be one in this i will say zeroth index my value should be zero in this way i will try to separate into g1 and g2 now i will iterate and i will iterate this v1 and v2 uh, in v1 right 131 contains one as my parity bit at index zero like starting index this index now and 1 3 and for g2 2 comma 2 and 2 now if you exhort these all elements my 1 1 get cancelled 3 3 will get cancelled i am left with 1 in this 2 2 get cancelled i am left with 2 now these two are my repeated numbers these two will be my repeated number now if you see what can be the time complexity maximum i will iterate to order of n so in order of n you are solid did you use any extra space you have used only v1 and v2 v1 xor v2 like using you did not use any extra space you have utilized only the space which has given in the question so my space will be order of one you can say overall space is order of n 
but the used space is order of one used space is order of one now let's see the coding part now now i recommend you to start coding by yourself because if you code by yourself right you can think about various scenarios like where how can i find this bit how can exactly i find this bit and everything you can find you can solve you can if you think and if you code your problem solving skills will definitely improve now let's see the coding part now it's simple m size n size m size n size so in i is equal to zero i less than m so first i am xoring all my values as you can see this this xor v1 xor v2 we after xoring v1 and v2 i got this right to find the right index this is the operation you can do or else what you can do is you can start iterating from 0 to 31 0 to 31 and you can do one left shift this is i this is a one left shift of i and and this value xr xr if it is one you can say that at this point my both value both parity bits are different so i can start segregating from here so your index will be i your index will be i so which index you are there so for that index you can perform the v of i and right operation the, what is this right one left shift of i the value now suppose uh, you are 0 0 and at this position you are getting one so that means you will store 4 4 and you are going to separate it right v of i and right that means all the bits which are it if if this this one is present if one is present so i will separate it t1 t1 xor v1 of i if it is not there if it is 0 then t2 xor v2 same thing i will do here finally i am going to return t1 and t2 so i hope that you understood it so if you learned something new please do like and if you are new to the channel please consider to subscribe i have created a whatsapp community code with confidence you can join there for further updates i will see you in the next video till then bye bye